Could red light therapy be the key to obstructive sleep apnea? I'll turn this off because it's kind of creepy. But the point being is that red light gets a lot of hype in the health and wellness space. Everyone has their panels and all of that. But could it actually apply to sleep apnea? Luckily, a bunch of researchers asked the same question. So here's a study and what they were planning to do because this is a planned out clinical trial is effectively use low level laser therapy, red light therapy on these different parts of the airway to improve the metabolism and reduce inflammation in them. Now, unfortunately, we're still awaiting the results of that. However, we can surmise some conclusions just based on what we know about red light therapy. One, what I've realized is that red light therapy close to bed is usually a bad idea. It kind of overexcites your nervous system. Two, if you are able to apply it to your oral cavity, it could reduce inflammation and improve breathing. But again, that's just speculative. Follow for more sleep apnea insights and then get the free guide at apneareset.com.